Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. So today I'm here with Lewis. Lewis is another YouTuber. Lewis, what's your channel called? Ringway Manchester. Ringway Manchester. And you do a variety of the videos about what? Drones. There's drone footage. Drone footage. Uh, some excellent drone footage actually. A um, little bit of Manchester. Manchester. Radios. Trans radios, transmitters, that sort of thing. I really quite love transmitters because I grew up in the era of trade test transmission videos and things like that. Love the shipping forecast and stuff. So all that stuff really interests me. And then you get some footage of Emily Moore as well. Yeah, Emily Moore is, I think, it's what, the tallest freestanding structure in the UK or transmitter in the UK. The tallest yeah. freestanding structure in the UK. It's all there on Lewis's uh, channel. So you can go and check out Lewis as well. It's called Ringway Manchester. I put the link in the description down below to his, uh, to his channel. But let's have a walk around town and see what we can find. So there you go, a few months ago I made a video about that, that thing being pulled down and finally, well not finally, they don't, don't want to pull it down but they're actually pulling it down now. So the sculpture's gone, um, the big horn, and they're actually taking the corner now, the corner of the old building down brick by brick. I hope they're careful with it because it needs re-erecting. It's going to be re-erected in a different place. I'm not sure where it's going to be now, uh, but yes, I hope they're being careful with it. And I stood there in that car park and I said that this car park is now a car park, but it's going to be somebody's kitchen diner. And lo and behold, they've begun building the kitchen diner. So Lewis is from um, posh part of Manchester. Is it from Altrincham? Simply, it's Frank Sidebottom country. Um, and surprisingly he says that sometimes some of the places in my videos he's never seen so we're just having a walk around today uh, doing something for his channel something for my channel and i'm showing him the bits and pieces that uh, i'm not putting my videos and um, so walk this way well sunglasses are cool lewis you're gonna have to set those sunglasses off mate because <laughs> on this channel we don't wear sunglasses we're not that cool So I brought Lewis to a little back street in Manchester and I'm showing him Manchester's underground nuclear bunker. Well, it's an actual underground nuclear telephone exchange. More will be revealed in a video that I'm about to make very soon. So uh, Lewis, do you like Vimto? Yes. I like Vimto too. Would you like a big bottle of Vimto? Depends how big. <laughs> Rather big. <laughs> So we're here on Granby Row in Manchester and this is the biggest bottle of Vimto you'll ever see. So this is where John Joe Nichols first brewed Vimto apparently. The, the ingredients are secret although there is a clue in this sculpture behind us. The sculpture is made of oak and it was put here in 1992. So I quite love this because uh, I had that my sister I think weaned her children on Vimto. So uh, everyone, uh, likes Vimto. everyone likes Vimto yeah, yeah including uh, six month olds. Anyway yeah. so that's Vimto. Yeah. I love the way they put invigorating on it. In those very early sort of like soft drinks, they always try to make them or give them some sort of like health properties. Um, so they, they've had to put, they put invigorating on it. Um, really quaint little touch. Some of you will probably know this place, but I'm just showing Lewis. The former head office of Factory Records. So in the top floor of that building, if you saw the film 24 Hour Party People, at the end when Factory were going bust. Did they go bust in 92? I can't remember. But at the end where Factory were going bust and they had no money, there's a scene where they, they bought this table, this really expensive designer table. And one of them says, how much was the table? I'm not telling you. How much was the table? I'm not telling you. Turns out the table was 10 grand. Um, and they actually spent that money when they had no money to spend. And that actually happened that in the top floor of that building there. Your sunglasses are back on. Anyway, so where are we going? <laughs> no, 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 you're supposed to say, so where are we going next? Right, ready. So where are we going next? I think we, well, <laughs> just do it again, fine. <laughs> right, so where are we going next? Well, I need a piss. Pissotier, not got a clue what a pissotier is or even why it's in French. But apparently in Manchester, this was the site of one of the first Gentlemen's urinals. There was a problem apparently in society of men coming out of the pub, getting drunk, and needing a wee, as you do. Um, so, for some reason, this blue plaque is on the wall celebrating the, one of the first of the public toilets in Manchester. 
Incidentally, there was none for women because it wasn't seen right that a lady should need to have a wee in the street, not let alone walk alone in the streets. How times move on. I wish the old building was still here, but it's not. It's just a blue plaque now on the wall. Anyway, get yourself down to, uh, I think we're on Charles Street, and take a look at the first pissotier. Look at that, Lewis is vlogging. And those sunglasses are fucking cool. I hope we don't wear them inside, because I'd be well pissed off. <laughs> So we're just underneath the Mancunian Way. I brought Lewis to this bit here, but I actually don't know anything about this. Maybe you, the, my friends on YouTube, could tell me. Because I'm going to ask you a question now. I want, if you can answer down below in the comments, please. This is the road to nowhere. Now, some of you will know what I'm on about, but it's the spur off the Mancunian Way that just stops midair. Why did it stop midair? And what was it meant to serve? And isn't it cute that it's still here and stops in mid-air? Anyway, let's get a closer look at it. Look at that. Mill chimneys. I love mill chimneys. I keep meaning to get the drone out and uh, try and film the top of one or down inside one. Middleton was uh, the biggest chimney, I think it was in Europe, the biggest mill chimney in Europe, it was called Schwab's Chimney and uh, it got pulled down sometime in the 80s. Yeah, Schwab's Chimney in Middleton got pulled down some da sometime in the 80s because of where it was, they had to take it down brick by brick by brick but uh, it was massive, honestly, it really was massive um, but it's long since gone. But uh, yeah, I love mill chimneys. Just love uh, Fred Dibner as well. In fact, I remember as a kid in 1978. I always remember years, I'm sure it was 78, when Fred Dibner's first series came out and watching him uh, doing the old mill chimneys and totally fascinated by it, loved it. So another one of uh, Manchester's newest skyscrapers going up there. Uh, I think it's gonna rival the Beaton Tower, that one. I'm not sure if it, that is the one, but uh, yeah. You build the lift shafts first, don't they? They sort of like do a concrete block and it's the lift shafts and all the staircases and then they tend to build all the steel and glass around it. Quite interesting to see, actually. Glasses are off. Uh, so what was you saying about that? What was you saying about that boat or something that goes down the ship canal? Yeah, um, Hume's Ferry in Earlham. It's near Earlham and it's a free, like, little passenger boat that takes you across the Manchester Ship Canal um, that the council put on because they have to provide the right of way across the Manchester Ship Canal um, and there's nothing around there, no bridges or anything so down near Ireland it's called Hume's Ferry and it's a little boat, it's open like I think every day Monday to Friday um, morning till sort of early afternoon um, and a bit earlier in winter and it takes people across for free um, across the Ship Canal really? um, yeah, so It's still quite, running? Yeah, it's still running daily, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd like to do that Yeah. Well, let's get that planned in. Yeah, plan it in. Another video. Yeah. So ironically, it's 10 years ago since uh, Tony Wilson died apparently, because it was, uh, I saw it on uh, Twitter and uh, stuff this morning, and we're actually here on t in Tony Wilson Place in Manchester. This is home in Manchester. This is uh, kind of like what took over from the corner house, where the corner house was like an alternative theatre and cinema venue. Home is now the place where it all happens because they closed the corner house. And I'll just show you this statue. This is the newest statue in Manchester. When Factory Records went over to America, or if they ever did, did anything in America, a lot of the Americans used to think they were Marxists and didn't know quite how to handle them. And uh, I think Tony Wilson used to just cash in on that idea that the Americans were a bit baffled by them and, and go along with the old one Marxist, communist type thing. Although a lot of people used to think Joy Division were fascists. That was a load of rubbish. Um, if anything, they were more like sort of communist, it was more communist ideology, uh, laissez-faire politics. Lewis, it's quite bright up here. You'll need your sunglasses on. So I hope you enjoyed our little video. We're back on the car park and we're wrapping up here now. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and I shall see you very soon in the next video. Take care.